Namaste, this is Meekla here from Pujas.in. This video is all about finances, how to improve on your finances and mainly get out of problems related to finances. I get many inquiries on Pujas.in uh, number, like people calling me and telling me that uh, they are in debts, they have loans and they are in a big mess because of credit card. So, you know, um, these are practical problems which people are facing right now when it comes to finances. So, either they avail consumer loans or credit loans on credit card or they just wipe their credit card, they get tempted to buy things and then they are in such a mess that they are not able to repay the debts and uh, they are overstretching on their budget. And these kind of people are not just uh, salaried uh, employees of companies but I do also have inquiries for uh, help in astrological matters from businessmen. So um, I thought I should make a video, give you some simple solutions and um, leave it to you to decide how you want to take it forward. See basically debts are actually happening because of Mangal. Um, planet Mangal actually governs debts. I am not saying that Mangal causes debts but placement of Mangal in your horoscope uh, and the sixth house lord whoever it is as per your lagna they determine uh, what is your financial position and what is the extent of loans or debts you will be having so and i think 99.9 percent .9%, all of us have some or the other kind of a borrowing or a debt like i said even something as simple as a credit card could also sometimes really be pinching our pocket and um, it could be really causing a lot of pressure on our shoulders and uh, I can say burden. So this video, I want to suggest some simple remedies for this. See, Mangal is also governed by Ganeshji and Hanuman. So um, some tried and tested spiritual practices have really helped devotees and many of my clients also to reduce the burden, the financial burden on them. So, first thing that I would tell them is go to any Ganesha temple nearby, Ganapati temple nearby every Tuesday and do Pradakshina, circumambulation around Ganeshji. Now, this is very easy in South India because uh, all the South Indian temples have the Prakar and it's easy to go around complete one circumambulation. But for something like this, uh, I would suggest um, based on my Guru's advice that you do at least nine Pradakshinas to Ganeshji every Tuesday for nine weeks and then definitely um, by the time you complete the ninth week you will definitely see good avenues your burdens are reduced your income may increase or the pressure may decrease from the person who has lent you the money I mean uh, solutions can come from anywhere because um, divinity is supreme and human logic um, and intellect is very minimum uh, very limited compared to uh, what divinity can do for you so please try this it's a very easy remedy um, and I think um, anybody can do it anywhere so even if you are a North Indian if you are abroad wherever you are it's not difficult to go to a Ganesha temple not difficult to find a Ganesha temple and uh, go there dedicatedly every Tuesday just with this intention of clearing debts have just one prayer and then um, make it happen definitely you will see positive results in nine weeks now the second thing that I want to recommend is that if you have budget see the first remedy what I told you the production is for people who have absolutely no budget no money but they want a result or a solution now the second thing is where you can stretch a bit like for example uh, prepare modaks and uh, or buy modaks if it's available near a Ganesh temple and go and offer modaks to Ganesh ji on these nine weeks so the production remains common in a, what comes in addition is offering modak as Naivedya to Ganeshji. So this also will really help you. Now the third thing is that if you are a sadhak and you like to chant mantras, you want to see faster results, then along with this Pradakshina for 9 weeks, also chant the Runahartra Ganapati mantra. 
actually there are several shlokas um, of the runahartru ganapati mantra but now i want to tell you only that one particular mantra itself which is usually used for japas the mantra is om ganesha ranam chindi varenyam hum namah fat om ganesha ranam chindi varenyam hum namah fat now this mantra you need to chant 10 malas every day every day if you are in a bigger financial trouble and you want to get out of it sooner i suggest that you chant this mantra every day 10 malas so 10 malas will be around 1000 sankhyas and odd so have a rakta chandan mala um, and uh, sit with that with the beat of 108 count and do your chap 108 om ganesha ranam chindi varenyam hum namah fat one beat will move Om Ganesha Ranam Chindi Varenyam Hum Nama Fat One more bead Om Ganesha Ranam Chindi Varenyam Hum Nama Fat That is how you go on doing the job complete the 108 like that you have to do a cycle of 10 So once you do this definitely all runa bhada that is loan debts um financial mess that you are in because of borrowing all that will go on reducing and you will see results Now this again doesn't cost anything so only thing remote remains common is you go to ganesha temple you offer modak and you also do this mantra chanting that will be more powerful so you can do any combination that i leave it to you and basically it's ganesh ji's grace only that you you will be able to do this without his will we cannot uh, you know do anything so even a blade of grass will not move without his grace and blessings and uh, you can go on adding to this like for example i told you offer modak you can also offer durva grass which is very dear to him okay and in some cultures they say peda is very dear to him you can go and offer peda sweets so like this you can go on improvising but i am saying the bare minimum things that you need to do is these and chanting the mantra is very powerful i want to give you one example of how a person a disciple with lot of devotion chanted this mantra and was able to clear he was a retired uh, bank officer uh, who had lot of financial trouble and his guru gave him this mantra because he was he's old he was hard of hearing he didn't hear the mantra properly so he made a slight change in the mantra meaning he chanted it wrong okay and despite of that because he had faith in the guru's word and he thought he had heard it right he chanted the mantra and he was able to clear all his loans in no time in a span of 6 months i think with a very regular regulated um i can say fixed income still he was able to clear his debts and then one day the guru asked him so very good that you accomplished because he went and said uh, guru ji i am able to now now you know be free i have freedom now because i have repaid all the debts and because of your mantra the mantra you gave me so and i chanted this mantra and he chanted the mantra and the guru said no um actually you have made a small mistake so uh, instead of gurunam chindi varenyam he had chanted as gurunam vindi varenyam so there is nothing called vindi varenyam in that mantra but why did he achieve uh, success is because of his faith in the guru's words and devotion to ganesh ji both play a very important role and why am i sharing this because i am an eye witness to this whole incident uh why i am sharing this incident is that no matter what we tell you in videos your faith your belief in the words say for example now i am sharing so my words second thing is that also your faith and divinity faith in divinity is very important if you exhibit faith and devotion in divinity and do all these things definitely your progress is very fast instantly you can see results you can start seeing help coming from different quarters understanding cooperation so i very recently especially after the guru transit happened i got lot of calls people were in distress some uh, there was so much movement and uh, you know disturbance that i could sense in people new people also whom who contacted me for the first time but their problem was a common problem that i saw that they had debts and they they were extremely pressurized and burdened so i said okay it's high time that uh, you know I, i do a video on this and uh, you know give solutions which you can do in your own houses but if you want to do a large scale havan 
you have a budget of 25 30000 and you want to do a havan to see even more faster results and because you can't sit and do your job every day you are not able to go to the temple every tuesday uh, if you have any of these constraints definitely you know whom to contact we at pujas.in will definitely help you with this uh, havan you can see in this channel we have um, and so many videos on Ranahartra Ganapati, Ranahartra Angaraka and Ranahartra Narsimha Havans. All these are connected to deities, connected to uh, any person who is karmically in debts. So who is karmically suffering because of debts. So these are the pariharams or remedies that we perform for people who are in financial uh, debts particularly so we are always there to help you but if you feel you cannot afford or if you feel you want to do it on your own please feel free and we are there to help you and assist you and guide you in whichever way we can so this is something which you can always do wherever you are whichever part of the world try this and it's a very very powerful mantra om ganesharanam chindivarenyam hum nama fat namaste